Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is part two of our wick testing. And just to go over part one, just a little bit, we went ahead and tested our CD18 wick, which is right here, using a fragrance I got from Candle Science. It's a calla lily fragrance. And I had a wax that was sent to me um, for testing. I don't know what type, what wax it is. I know it's a soy based wax and that's all I know. So I was, it, it was sent to me by a company to test it out and see what wigs work with it and what do I think about the wax. So we have CD18 right here. It's been about two hours and we have CD12 right here. Same time, different size wick. My air conditioner is back on, my AC is back on, so you're going to see a lot of flickering going on with the candles. So if you'll look at the melt pool right here, CD18, a half an inch is what you want in the melt pool. So this isn't too bad, but keep in mind that it will burn down faster than your CD12 over here. So the CD12, it's still a slow burn, but you could see that it has a little bit of a melt pool. Now, the difference between the two that I've also noticed besides the amount of melt pool you'll get in that time frame is the CD18 one over here, it gave a lot of occasional carbon or um, soot, you know, the little brown or smoke, come, the little smoke coming off of it, it gave, it definitely gave that, but it was at a minimum and it was not consistent. It was just here and there, it'll give it off. But it burned hotter. I'm touching the jar and I'm actually able to hold the jar comfortably, even at the bottom. So if I put my hand close to here, it's hot, but it's bearable. So if your customer picks up that jar in that two hour time frame, they can hold it without burning their hands to where it, I've touched jars in testing where it's overheated to the point where I had to um, practically almost drop the jar. It didn't burn evenly all around because the surface that's on is not completely flat. But if it was a flat surface, because this is a folding table, but if it was a flat surface, it will be evenly burned all the way around as well. Now, to be honest, between the two, this one, the CD18, the fragrance was stronger. I actually smell it outside of this room. And I know because in the CD18 I've tested before, it has a very strong fragrance coming off of your candle. It just burns faster and you may get some soot with it. And also got some mushrooming with that CD18. I will show you once we blow up the candle and that way you'll see what it looks like after it burns. Now with this, when you lit it out, and you go ahead to burn it again. If you cut down the wick some, it may reduce some of the soot and as well as the flame, the height of the flame. So that's also the other thing is when you're burning it again, you cut the wick and it helps with the level of the flame that you're giving off. The CD12 has a little bit of mushrooming, um, but the level or the height of the melt pool is actually pretty decent. It burns slower this candle will last longer, but the fragrance is not as intense as the 18. Now, if I was going to do it and I decide that I want to sell this particular candle and this particular um, fragrance, I would probably go in between and I will go for a CD14. You can do a CD18 with this. You just have to keep in mind that the flame is higher and the fragrance will be stronger and it will burn faster. So that is not bad at all. This is actually the, I think this is the actually recommended wick from Candle Science, but they, they give a starting point for you to test from and then you could wick up or wick down. So I've used CD18 before in my candles. The, the fragrance is very strong. I just didn't like 
how the flame behaved. So it's up to you if you want to use that. CD12, very slow. It gives off a good fragrance, but it's not as strong. So in some cases, it may not be the best one to use, especially if you have a light fragrance. So I would say between the, the CD12, actually, you know, this is a hard one. <laughs> I will be comfortable with the 14, the one I didn't test. <laughs> so I, that's probably what I would recommend to them is you can use the 12, the 14, and the 18, but I am more comfortable with the 14 and the 12 because the 18, I'm seeing that you're going to get more suit with that one. And the flame is a little bit high. And remember I mentioned to you that just because you don't see it does not mean that there isn't any heat above. So there is heat there and it's, it's hot and it's going to burn faster. So let's go ahead and blow it out. And that way you can get a closer look at it and I'll show you what the wick will, will look like. So let's blow. Ooh, there you go. That's the smoke from the 18. Tried to choke me, but we made it. And let's do the 12. Okay. So let's get a little closer. Now look at that, that wick from the 18. You see how that mushroomed right there? That's what you're getting. So the wick is a little bit too high for it, but it's doable. I honestly feel that once they cut this wick and burn it again, it's going to be, perform a little bit better. I didn't like the melt pool. That's to me, that's a little bit too much. Um, when you're burning the candle, if you want it to last, that means that this candle is going to burn after maybe, I say about a week of burning. Um, they're going to pr practically run out. So this one right here, the CD12, if you look closely, you'll see it does have some, some uh, mushrooming as well. But when you look at the liquid, this is a good amount of liquid, but it's not as bad as the CD18. Um, so if your, your customer burns this candle for four hours, the CD12 will last longer and it will burn the wax and the fragrance oil basically the same level. So as it's burning off the wax, it's burning off the fragrance oil. So you'll have a higher chance between the CD12 and CD14 to not have wax, too much wax left in your jar. It should burn it all the way um, through. This, you're going to get more of the wax, the pool itself, It'll still burn down, but I've had before when I used the CD18 where the wick did not perform as well when it got to the back bottom of the jar. So it's just one of those things, pick your poison kind of situation and um, test out and see which one works for you. So the person that was asking about the CD18 wicks, I'm so sorry I don't remember your name and i um, I can't check right now, but you, I remember you said you had some CD18 wicks, so you can test them out, test them with different, different size jars. Some places may allow you to just get a single jar. Some may require you to do 12. Um, but if you go to the Dollar Tree, there are jars at the Dollar Tree that are comparable to this particular one. It's similar to it, but they're actually in the candle make the candle section, um, and you can try one of those jars. There's no sense in spending money and going for these um, other companies that sell them by the um, twelve by the box or all of those. Start out with the Dollar Tree jar. Just make sure it's the one in the section that has. Um, it's usually in the sections where they sell the candles in the Dollar Tree. Um, those are ones that you can use as well. And I wish I had one around here. I actually do. I think I do. I just got to find it. Um, let me go ahead and 
choose that for you, show that to you. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So this one right here, I actually made a layered candle. And I'll show in one of my videos later on. We'll work on doing that. But. Oh, of course I taped it. Hold on. This is me being brilliant. <laughs> I didn't think about how this was going to be taken apart. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is my layered candle that I made. Um, it's called For the Culture. Mm, it actually smells very good. It has three different layers, three different flavors. But anyways, back to the jar. This right here is from the Dollar Tree. Look for this jar and you can just get one or maybe, you know, maybe a few and you can test it instead of buying a bunch of jars. And it's very similar to this jar right here. It's a little bit taller, but the diameter is about the same. Let me see. Yep, it's about the same. It's a little bit, no, it's about the same. And you could test your, your candles out, your wicks out. And that keeps you from spending too much money in the beginning, especially when you're starting out. And of course you can get your wicks from like Candle Science. I think they're about like $9 for a pack of 100. Um, I haven't found any place that sells smaller packs. Maybe um, Candle Science might, I don't remember seeing any. But um, actually I think they might sell smaller packages. I think they do have them in a smaller amount, but try those and test them out that way instead of going big on your purchases and then you end up, ooh, I'm out of breath. Then you'll end up spending more money than you need to in the beginning. So these are lessons learned for me, <laughs> basically. So save yourself some money. I had to spend the money, but I'm trying to say, let you know, save it, save yourself the money. Um, because once you really start doing it and you're selling it and you, you build a customer base, you will have to spend the money. And when I say you're spending money, you're going to spend money. It's an expensive hobby or expensive business, but it's worth it in the end. Okay. So in the next video, um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do next, but the excitement is not knowing, I guess. <laughs> so we'll play it by ear. Um, actually, I think I could do an uh, unboxing video. I bought a bunch of uh, supplies, different fragrances and stuff from Candle Science. I might do a video of unboxing it and smelling them and letting you know what they smell like and giving you ideas of what fragrances you might want to try. And um, that's it. Basically, thank you so much for watching. And I'm glad that you were able to see part two. And hopefully this will give you an idea as far as how you will test your candles and determine which wick to use. As I mentioned before, the CD18, without a doubt, that fragrance is going to be good. Um, the only problem with that sometimes depending on what fragrance you're using it for and what wax you're using, all of those, it can burn a little bit hotter um, and it burns faster so it won't last as long. The CD12, it was a little bit slow for me, but within a two hour time frame, it didn't do bad, but the fragrance I don't think was as strong. So my recommendation will probably do like maybe a CD14 and, um, if you can go to the 18 and you're comfortable with that, that's fine as well. It just all depends on what you're testing. So with my testing, my recommendation will maybe be about a little bit higher, like a CD14 um, that I will go with. Okay. So leave your comments in the, um, sec the comment section in the video. If you have any questions, you can leave them there as well. And um, let me know if you guys want to do that live 
candle um, making class and we can make candles together as soon as i figure out how to invite people to live stream with me then that way we can all be on camera making a candle together so we can watch and see if anyone's making any mistakes and what corrections to make or anything to that effect you guys have a great evening thank you so much for taking the time to watch have a great day bye